Hello YouTube, if you found this video probably you have the same problem that I was facing with my computer so Windows presented me with a black screen and not responding so if you press caps lock or unlock the LEDs will not turn on or off so we are forced to power off the computer and once you do it twice or probably three times I don't remember when it boots it goes to recovery so we need to use this option okay so see advanced repair options select that troubleshoot advanced options startup settings and enable safe mode you don't need to select you just press restart Once we do it, Windows will boot again. And now we have an, a lot of options to select. So we need to select enable safe mode or enable safe mode with networking. If you plan to transfer files to a network attached storage or go to the internet to download a driver or something okay so select uh, four or five depends which one do you want to use after that computer will restart and now uh, the video is edited in order to be shorter because it this takes a while and mine decided to fix drive C so it takes a, a lot more Okay, so it's booting in safe mode. Okay, so just enter your password. The resolution of the screen will be different. But will allow us to do what we need to do. Okay, once booted, we need to go to device manager and the way I do it is I open up a, an explorer window. So, so just to show we are in safe mode, Windows is operating in safe mode. So it doesn't load a lot of drivers and a lot of service are not currently running okay but we need to uh, assess so open a explorer window so windows key and e and then click right click on this pc and select manage Uh, depending on your computer mine is really slow it will take a little bit I didn't cut the video just to show you the, the, the whole process okay so here we have device manager computer management we go to device manager and here we have all the parts from our computer and we need to remove drivers from the monitor so you see we have a yellow sign that's not good that means it's not working properly I will un uninstall that was causing the black screen 
and I will do the same for the graphic adapter NVIDIA GT720 I will uninstall ok so now if you need to copy some files from your computer to another one you can attach a external drive or flash drive and you can copy paste your files and take it so your computer is not black anymore you can take your files and do the operations on another one but now we will restart and I took my computer to another room where I have another another monitor with the same brand it's also LG so let's shut down and once we delete the drivers the Windows 10 will search again online for the the new drivers and if you are lucky you will install the good drivers okay so as you can see this is another monitor also LG it's not the same this is the same computer and it's starting now with the those drivers deleted and yes the computer now has access to internet so probably we'll start searching for drivers and will install automatically unless I had disabled that okay so it's an installing stuff that's already installed it so this operation worked for me I don't know if it will work for you if it works for you don't forget to to give it this video a thumbs up consider to su subscribe to the channel because I'm always launching new videos with tips and reviews and so I would like you to have you on my channel so as you can see Windows is working properly no more black screen everything is working so I hope you liked the video thank you very much I catch you on a new one if you like this video please subscribe